because he was a disgrace to the nation, a stinking doll chief, <coughs> rotting the system and flaunting it in our faces. Steve Caramet says, shame, shame, shame. You are a chief, you are a bludger, you are living the good life at the expense of honest, decent, hard-working Australian taxpayers. What do you say to that? You can say nothing to that because you cannot answer me, can you? Can you? Listen, Darren, I think you're right. Of course I'm right. Yeah, my, my, life's, uh, my life's unreal, mate. And you're admitting that? Yeah, on national television. Yeah, bloody A. But it's so good in my life, you know, because I do nothing all day. You are scum. Yeah, thanks. It's so good that, you know, I can't help but feeling a little bit guilty. So you should be. Yeah. You're a bloody disgrace to Australia. Yeah, that's right. So I'll tell you what I'm prepared to do, mate. I'm prepared to swap my life for anybody else's life in this studio. What do you say to that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, anyone in this studio. Uh, how about you, mate? Yeah, just like it. The guy, uh, pulling the blobs in. Uh, you want to swap with me, mate? He's working for me. Why don't you come and, uh, do what I do, be a doll bludger? I mean, come on. Who wants to be a doll bludger? Anyone? Yeah, just like I thought. No one. And you know why? Because it's bullshit. Being on the doll is shit. It makes you feel like you're nothing. Now, hang on. Don't interrupt me when I'm talking. I just figured this out. This is all about you big guys making us little guys feel like we're worth nothing, isn't it, Darren? You know, mate, where I come from, people aren't like that. People try to help each other out. You know, I do something for them, they do something for me. And we get by. So, hey, listen, Darren, you call me whatever you want, mate. I'm a wog boy. And I'll always be a walk boy. Steve, I want to say something to you and to everybody else in your situation. You've been called a lot of names tonight, and I intend to call you one more. Oh, God. You're a battler. You're a little Aussie battler, trying to do your best in a hard, cold world. And maybe the politicians of this country need to appreciate that. What? What? Uh, what? You heard me. I mean, if that's what it means, when you call yourself a wog boy, then I'm the wog boy too. And maybe what this country needs are a few more wog boys. Coming up next on 24 Hours, the story of the trucky who won't go anywhere without his mate, Jono the Talking Parrot. Ah, you fucking rubbish! <laughs>